Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to do the timings of your PowerPoint so that you don't have to press click in order for it to move to the next slide. Now you could go to Slideshow and then choose Rehearse Timings. That's one way and you would just go ahead and click. But I'm going to do something different. This is kind of a shortcut. I need to choose View Normal to get out of this mode. I'm going to go ahead and choose Transitions and what I want to do is I'm going to click over here in the advanced slide and I'm going to specify that I want roughly 14 seconds for each slide. And I'm going to choose Fade so that it will fade and I'm going to choose Apply to All. Now it's set up to where after every 14 seconds the slide will go on to the next slide. Now that's great for these slides because I need roughly 14 seconds. However, for that first slide, I need about three seconds. So with transition selected, I will go ahead and specify three seconds. I will then click on slide two because I only need roughly seven seconds. I'm going to go ahead and watch the show. So I will click slide show from beginning. Make sure that this works. See how it's going to the next slide. You want to make sure that people have enough time to look at the images and the information. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and just imagine that you actually watched the entire presentation and everything was perfect. If not, you would need to revisit the slides, go to transitions, and change the timings under advanced slide. Because I'm happy with the results of my timings, I am now ready for the next video. Be sure to choose File Save you want to save frequently, or you can click on the save icon or control S. This concludes the session on how to quickly set up timings for your presentation. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.